So what's this video all about? Um, work. Work done equals four apply time times distance. distance. If a body moves as a result of a force being applied to it, then what we can say is that the force is doing work on that object. Uh, and I'd really like to illustrate this with the aid of this, uh, this man over here with a wheelbarrow. To calculate the work done on an object, we need to know the force applied and also the distance that it's moved. But the important thing here is that we're talking about a constant force that uh, has been in the direction of uh, the distance it's moved. Okay, So this S is a, really the displacement, so it's a distance in the direction of the force. And most of the time that's fairly straightforward, but sometimes we get a bit more complicated, okay? So perhaps uh, if we draw maybe a diagram of what's going on with this uh, wheelbarrow here, the, the man might be applying a force at a certain angle. So I'll call that force F. Now, there must be a vertical component of that force that counteracts the, the weight of that wheelbarrow. Because the wheelbarrow isn't going up in the air uh, and it's not going long, so here's the weight. So the vertical component of force uh, is equal and opposite to the weight. So the wheelbarrow doesn't go up and down. But if the man is pulling it along, then the force in the direction he's moving is only a component of that force F. And if we think about the angle here being theta, then the component of force in the direction that the, the wheelbarrow is moving, if the wheelbarrow is moving to the right, uh, there's a force to the right of F cos theta. So what that means is the actual work done in this example over here is equal to the force applied times the displacement, uh, perhaps to the right, times cos theta. And that allows us to actually calculate the work done when the force is acting at an angle to the distance that it's moving.